hey guys i'm stepping out now and i'm gonna be sharing with you some top secrets that can help you to move abroad faster i know the situation of things over there in africa um especially those in nigeria can attest to the fact that things are really getting worse day by day and people are looking for opportunity to move out to jackpa and this video is really gonna help you to solve some of the hardest equations of immigration okay so first of all if you want to move abroad you need to research and know which countries are offering visa now so basically i'm going to be talking about country suggestions which you should apply to specifically one european country i'm going to talk about it okay and um i believe that they are offering visa like more than other ones okay according to what i heard and also i'm going to talk about some preparation steps that can help you or some preparation tips that can help you while you are processing your movement abroad uh, these things can help you to expedite the process and help you to meet up with your deadline i know that some people can wait to move abroad probably your deadline is next month or next two months or next year next month is too close at least this video will help you to kind of plan you know and if you follow what i'm going to be telling you in this video maybe by this time next year you should be abroad okay so ensure you watch this video to the end in case you're meeting me for the first time my name is promise breno i live in poland i'm a business consultant and also a foreign admission expert i'm here to help you i've made a couple of videos already on my channel about jobs that you can use to move to poland and also other opportunities on my channel if you desire to move out of your home country or out of your present location into better places let's say europe canada and so on then this is the right channel for you ensure you are subscribed to this channel because subscribing to this channel will be of benefit to you as i drop videos about opportunities on my channel every week so ensure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of these videos hey listen i've been there and i know how it feels like when you desire opportunities and how to move out of where you are and you don't find them or you don't know how to do it Alright guys, welcome back. It's nice to see you. I'm glad that you stayed till this time. Alright, um, so one thing about moving abroad is that you need to be a researcher. You need to research. I know that not a lot of people are good in researching. So many people are not that good in researching. They prefer to deal with agents, basically to pay agents who already made their research or who are doing it for money, you know, who already have the information and they have the connection to uh, process it for them okay so uh, this video is going to be like a two-way thing whether you want to use an agent or if you want to do it yourself this video is really going to help you to meet up with that deadline and to be able to make an informed decision and to go to the right place that can be favorable to you and that can help you to get your visa you know visa rejection is very high right now for those who have applied to polish embassy or who have information about um, visa application at the Polish Embassy can attest to the fact that visa rejection is so high now uh, which is why this video is very relevant because I'm going to be giving you um, an alternative to Poland now that visa rejection is so high what are you going to do which country should you focus on now and what should you do you know and even when the process is on what should you do whether you want to move to work or to study all right one thing I want to tell you is that you need to research okay about it and also even if you've contacted an agent why the agent is processing your admission abroad or why the agent is processing your job work permit and other documents you would need to do your own homework what i mean by homework is that um, you need to plan regarding your visa because not all agents are specialists when it comes to visa so basically some agent specializes in getting admission, some agent specializes in getting work permit for you and they might even tell you that they don't process visas. So you need to process your visa. Even if they tell you that they process visa, you need to make your own research. Okay, um, basically you need to find out. Before you even start um, processing something with an agent or you start processing something on your own, okay, you need to research about the embassy. You know, you need to research about what is the visa issuing rate, what is the rejection rate, you know, so that you know, okay, very, very important. And you, if you've made this research about the country that you're interested in, whenever you come across an opportunity, you know that even if you get the opportunity, you already know what to do, the next step. 
So a lot of people go into applications, they can um, just start doing applications, but then going to the next step is the problem. Um, I'm just, let me just give an instance, me. Uh, we do work permits, by the way, for Poland. Um, those who want to move to Poland to work or study, you can contact me. Um, I am an agent for studies, like for example, um, I can get a school for you in Poland, whether you want to study master's or bachelor's degree. And also if you want to move to work in Poland, um, I am in contact with an agent who happens to be my friend. Uh, we've done work permit for several candidates this year already and some, even some work permits are still on now. The project is still very much on. So if you want to contact me regarding that, uh, you can just uh, check the, my social media handles and message me. All right, and if you want one on one consultation, like you want me to uh, prescribe a medication tailored to your needs, tailored to your immigration needs, then click on the link that says talk to me one on one. Okay, and once you've done the needful, then you take a screenshot and um, send it to me via my social media handles. I prefer Instagram because it will be more easier for me to reply you you know compared to other platforms okay all right so back to our discussion um after you've made your research about where you want to go to you know so once you come to uh once you find or you come across those opportunities it will be easier for you to apply to them because you know the next step after you've gotten the opportunity which is visa application so make inquiries at the embassy go to their website ask questions to know what the visa issuing rate is to know what the visa rejection rate is so that uh, it will be easier for you. Someone told me recently that it's easier to get a visa to Finland, you know, compared to other European countries. Right now, I heard that Finland are giving visas. So uh, this is a tip for you. You know, it's kind of hard now to get visas at the Polish embassy. And I think I'm going to make a video, maybe I'm going to make a video sometime to tell or to reveal the secret why the visa rejection at the Polish embassy is so high nowadays, okay? Of course, um, I've also made content about uh, visa preparation tips, like um, possible interview questions, uh, knowing where your Polish visa is, okay? So I'm talking about Polish visa now, okay? And also I've made, I've made videos regarding the, um, the things to do that can boost your, your visa chances, you know? So, um, I would encourage you to check my channel after watching this video and just uh, search anything about visa that I've made and look at them all right to help you to plan ahead now all I'm trying to do okay all I'm trying to help you to do is to be able to move abroad faster you know um, because you have a deadline and you want to meet up with your deadline so um, don't just leave everything to agencies if even if you're processing through an agent for example if you contact us and we are processing a work permit for you for example during that period of time that we are processing the work permit okay i would encourage you to make your research in fact even before contacting us you're supposed to have made your research uh what is happening at the polish embassy um uh, how many people did they give visa last week you know you can make all this research what is the visa re rejection rate what is the visa acceptance rate so make all this research. What documents do you need for a visa application? By the way, I've made videos regarding what documents you need for a visa application, whether you want to apply uh, for a student visa, Polish student visa, or Polish uh, work visa. So you can check them on my channel. So you make all this research so that when your work permit is out, you know the next thing to do. So we process work permit for people and they can be disturbing us, they can be writing us, um, when is it going to be out, is it out yet, any update? And you think as if they are ready. So once the work permit is out, you, you just realize that these guys are not yet ready. They've not made research on anything. They don't even know the next step to take. And they will not be relying on the agent again to process, I mean, to make all this research for them or to tell them, to give them this information, you know. So if you can adhere to these uh, principles or tips that I'm giving you, you'll be able to move abroad faster. You'll be able to jump very fast, okay? It's very, very important, okay? Make your research. If you're coming for school, research about the universities in Poland okay before you even start application okay check research about the embassy first all right so once you you've determined you've decided that okay 
um, despite the visa rejection rate and all those stuff, okay, I can apply. Or probably you might know somebody that knows somebody inside the embassy that can help you. You know, you might never know if you don't ask questions. Okay, so if you have, if you ask questions and you've determined that, okay, you found a way that, okay, I'm going to apply for my visa this way. Then the next thing to do is to now start, start searching for schools on the internet. And of course, you already have a course in mind. So me, I would, I would uh, encourage you to have like uh, um, maybe three to five schools. Okay. Um, then also, uh, if you want to apply to, for example, uh, mechanical engineering, okay, you can just kind of also apply to other courses related to mechanical engineering, like um, material science, manufacturing engineering, industrial engineering, production engineering, you know, automation. Um, mechatronics engineering some of these subjects that are related to it make them like second third fourth fifth choice okay so that if you don't get this one you get this one so you have three to five schools you have like uh, five courses that you have in mind that you know that you you uh, like your preferences so that when you are applying you can apply to these things your chance of getting accepted will be high okay and it's so important for you to also apply to universities in Poland, for example, that are offering accommodation documents. Okay, so some universities, they have dormitories and when you are applying, they can ask you, do you want accommodation? If you say yes, when you pay your school fees and they send you your acceptance letter, they will also include uh, accommodation documents along with it without you paying any dime for the accommodation. If you don't do that, okay, then you will need to go and pay maybe reservation fee, agency fee or commission fee to book it online and it will be expensive for you and you've not even gotten a visa yet and you already started spending on accommodation you know which is not good for you okay and also if you apply to certain schools they don't have dormitory or they might not be able to give you that document so you need to target these schools I'm, I'm going to be making video regarding these things okay I'm going to be making video hopefully sometime I will make a video regarding the schools you should apply to in Poland, all right, with respect to this accommodation and certain things, certain benefits, certain things that you can, you can gain, you know, when you apply to these schools, very important. Of course, you research about the school fees, um, those that are affordable, the application fee and other stuff. So guys, I hope that these tips will be helpful to help you to jagba or to move abroad very fast, okay? So I would like you to implement these things. And if you have any question, Feel free to put in the comment section below and um, remember that you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one by clicking on the link talk to me one-on-one -on -one. and do, after you've done the needful take a screenshot and um, contact me through any of my social media handles preferably whatsapp i mean preferably instagram send me the screenshot and i will uh, let you know my schedule and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll send you a link for the one-on-one -on -one consultation all right Alright, uh, and also you can watch other content that can help you, you know, like in order to find other opportunities, you can also see my YouTube channel, alright? Thank you so much for watching, till I come away again, have a great time, see you in my next video. If you liked that video you just watched, please give me a thumb up on this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And if you have any question, please put the comment section below and I will answer you, okay? Okay, till I come your way again, have a great time. See you in my next video.